YouTube, it's Bebop 7 here, and welcome back to Niche and the Rat Tribe. Now, in the last episode, we had quite the little baby boom, I guess, and we uh, had quite a few beautiful little babies. As you can see back here, we have our blue-eyed family, and I am kind of surprised that they all have blue eyes because their mother has black eyes, and I would have thought that it would be much more dominant. But she might have blue eyes recessives. She does. Okay, that would probably explain why a lot, why all of her children have had blue eyes. But we have her lovely trio, her lovely blue-eyed trio right here. But we also have Kusta, and Kusta is an all-silver nichling, and he's just he just startled his mother so much because he's kind of glowing. So like, look at him. Look at how glowy he is. He's kind of glowing, and I think he startled his mother and she considered him blessed by Acorn because she had never seen a Nietzscheling so completely and just solidly glittering silver before so he is considered blessed by Acorn and then her daughter Vazia oh my gosh she is also I think I don't know if she can be considered blessed but she has that same silver color so maybe maybe what I do know is that her mother definitely thinks her to be a very talented warrior, and she's currently trying to think up of a new challenge for her little girl. So I'll have to see. Hmm. Hmm. And I can't remember if uh, Vidar was given a challenge either. I think Kusta has to actually hunt a rabbit, and that might have been Vidar, but I can't remember if Vidar had already cleared out something. I think Vidar also has to hunt a rabbit, so maybe they both have to. Or actually, I think Vidar might be challenged to get to this tree, like to see how fast he can get to the tree. And Kusta was challenged to get a bunny, so we're going to have to see about that. But uh, we are going to look over our youngest generation, and we're going to plan on moving them over. Another thing is I want to plan mates for everybody, however this tribe they don't necessarily have strictly one mate. We have had it that way so far because we haven't had a need for our females to have multiple mates, but if they need to they will have multiple mates. So they aren't necessarily a uh, one mate forever sort of tribe, sort of a nicheling group, so we'll have to see. But uh, hmm. I definitely want to check our family mutation. So we have Kusta, and he has A and F. We have his sister Vazia, D and F. And their older sister, Termoya, she is A and F. And then Breeze, which is D and C. So Breeze and Terimor can breed if necessary. So there's a there's a pair of possibility. And uh, we have E and B with Cheetah. We have E and C with uh, Vidar, and I think that uh, Cheetah and Cherimoya are able to breed as well, so those two can breed. Coneflower has E and C, and I think she can breed with Kusta, so maybe we could give them a pairing thing? Hmm, I'm not sure how the rats would signify definite pairs. We'll have to see. We know that Coneflower and Kusta can breed. And Vidar, I think Vidar can breed with someone too. He has E and C. He can breed with Vazia, so he can breed with Vazia. And I think he can actually breed with Cherimoya as well. So Cherimoya might take on multiple mates. Um, so I'll have to see. That's good, that's good though, that's good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we can have a few more babies before we have ten. Uh, Nichlings, and I don't think that any of the previous generation is going to be going with us. So we might look around and see if they'll be able to have some babies of their own. Now, Cyrus, I think she can breed with Vidar as well, so we might see what baby they can have together. Well, let's go ahead and let's get started. So we have a lovely, lovely little windflower over here, and I think she's going to quickly pounce on this bunny. So she swiped up this bunny, and she doesn't know that one of uh, one of Olive's sons is actually challenged to go after the bunny. And Jalen is just busy trying to dig up roots and learn something so he can respect the tribe and understand their ways. And Breeze, he doesn't do hunting often, so I think he'll go swipe at this mole and just get rid of it. And Cherimoya uh, has helped watch over the 
the whole area, so I think she'll wait on that for now, but she does have to breed with someone. And I suppose she could breed with Breeze, but I think we might just wait for the younger generation to have babies until we go to the next island. And Olive. Olive has devised... Okay, so Kusta has to get a bunny, Vidar has to get to that tree, and right now Olive is trying to figure out what her daughter needs to do. And she might sit here. I think she'll sit here, so she might try to... um get this acorn because she feels she's been doing too much berry gathering and she wants to kind of sharpen her skills. So we're gonna have to move Kusta, but Zyrus right now, I'm not sure what Zyrus wants to do, I think. Wait a second. Oh no, she can't breed with him. She could have a baby with a uh, Hairlifer actually, and I think Olive would permit it even though, um, she doesn't exactly want to. I think she would. So Herlifer is going to gather up that uh, that meat, and then he and Zyrus are going to breed, and Zyrus will hop into one of the nests uh, with permission, and she'll have her child. And we're going to go ahead and look in her genetics and see what we want to encourage. We might be able to put one of the other genes that we really need. Ah, uh, we're still like 30 away from Big Nose, but it looks like we can put Nimble Fingers now, so we can try to encourage Nimble Fingers. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna pop Nimble Fingers in there, and I don't know if we can put Ram Horns in yet. Uh, where would Ram Horns be? Let's see, we have High Fertility, Normal Fertility, uh, Gills, these are Beaks, Claw, Verena Claw, these are... Okay, Antlers, there we go, 30. So we need to perform 40 more attacks in order to get the ram horns. Well, I don't know what else we want to encourage with these guys, so maybe we could try doing a fun color. It'd be kind of interesting to see some, like, really dark mechelings. We haven't yet. Um, so we'll put that in there just for fun, and Herlifer already has his stuff. So they're all set up, and Kusta needs to hunt a bunny. So he's gonna use his sniffer skills. And he's going to try to find his very own bunny. Oh, right! Vidar was supposed to find a clam! So, actually, let's move Vidar first. And I think he will now see that there is a clam. And I believe his father would be very proud of him and probably consider it done. But Vidar's going to go the extra mile and collect that clam for his dad. Just to, just to show that he really tried his best. Whoopsie-daisy. But he's going to collect this clam in the next turn, just to show that he did his best, and that he really, really cared about his dad's mission. But Kusta, on the other hand, we're going to zoom out all the way. Oh goodness, this island. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And there aren't any bunnies as far as he can tell, but he isn't going to let that stop him. He's going to go hunting for some bunnies. And this might have been a little bit hard of a challenge, because to be fair... I don't know if there even are any bunnies around right now. There's some moles, so he might be allowed to kind of pass it off by getting a mole. But uh, Jabarosa, let's see, uh, he and his mate might have another baby. Oh look, he found another permanent nest, but he and Nance might have another child together. I'm not sure about that though. It, it depends. I know that Nance is very proud of her little brood, and I think Javarosa personally considers him, them all kind of very... I think he thinks his children very beautiful. I, I, I bet he's probably surprised to see that they all ended up with blue eyes, but I think also surprised and happy to see that they all, well, almost all of them, ended up looking like their mother, and that some of them inherited the spots. Javarosa yeah, really is in love with Lance. I think this... Lance! I keep calling you Lance, I think. Nance. Uh, Javarosa is really in love with Nance because I... I don't know. I definitely think this would be one of the groups, one of the mates that probably would end up rarely in this tribe, but they would just stay together and wouldn't breed with anybody else. But we have all of that done. And Cherimoya can move around again, and I believe that Vidar's gonna be growing up soon, so we'll have to see on that. But uh, she can breed, but she won't, so we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait and see what this lovely little lady's gonna look like. Oh, I'm so excited. Hopefully, oh, we don't know if it's gonna be a girl, whoops, but hopefully it's a healthy baby. I do think they have different immunities, B and D, and C and F, so we'll see.
I just wanted her to have at least one kid. <gasps> oh my word! That is so beautiful! <laughs> oh gosh, guys, he is so beautiful! Okay, first off though, I know instantly what we're putting in the mutations. We want normal eyes. Check mark. We want, um... Normal hind legs, check mark, but let's just admire him. Goodness, he is he is so gorgeous, you guys. Look at that. And he has violet eye recessives. Imagine how beautiful and kind of startling that would be for a creature like him with those bright violet eyes. Beautiful. He's so gorgeous. He is just so gorgeous. Just look at him. I'm just oh my word. Oh my word, Cher- Oh, you're not Cher Moya. You guys look exactly the same. <laughs> but Cyrus, you had such a beautiful baby. And his, uh, his is BNF. And he has Gil's Recessives. Oh my goodness. Um, let's actually look in the family mutation menu, because we gotta name you. Oh my word. Um, I- let's see. The first thing I saw was Flax. So actually, I like that. I like that for you. We have Flax. Oh my word, you guys. He is so handsome. <gasps> He's so gorgeous. And now Zyrus has to think up a little challenge for him. But I think she's definitely happy to have had her own child. And I think Olive is happy to have allowed her sister and given her the chance to have one. So she is still thinking of a challenge for her other daughter. And sometimes they do repeat challenges. Oh, wow. What is it with you, Olive? You are just unbelievably talented with this. Oh my word, but uh, I think she might challenge her daughter to something like what she challenged her other daughter, uh, Cherimoya, to. I think she's going to say, try to crack a nut, because those are actually pretty hard challenges to do. And her daughter could, oh, maybe she could say, try to fish. We'll have to see. But Vidar over here, oh no, his clam disappeared, but he did find one, and his father believes him. So I think he's going to let him off the hook and... What? <gasps> hey! I didn't pass the turn! <gasps> okay, there's a rogue. There's a rogue. I didn't pass the turn. How dare you? I did not pass the turn. I wasn't done yet. Oh my goodness. I am very ugh, frustrated. But we have Kukir. I and I, he's sick. He is sick, so we're gonna go ahead and invite him really quick. He does have spiky body. We'll have him collect from this, collect from this, and maybe dig in here, just as an attempt. And let's see, he has short-sighted eyes, webbed hind legs, and those are the worst genes I could think of. So we definitely want to get rid of that. But he does have some new immunities that would be really good to kind of work into the tribe so that we don't get uh, too stuck with them. And coneflower, what is yours? Coneflower is like perfectly healthy, so I don't know what I'd want to put for her, but maybe she might want to, uh, you know, keep this guy around. I don't know if I want her to stay by him, though. So I think she'll kind of scoot to the side, but she's definitely planning on that. Holy flippers, I'm, I'm feeling very frustrated that I accidentally skipped the turn. Oh, that is so annoying. But uh, Zyrus is planning a challenge for her little boy, and I think she might have him make it to the tree instead. That will be his challenge. So she's going to swipe this up and collect from the berries, and then she'll sit here, maybe trying to feed from the bottom if she can, and her son is going to work on moving that way. And little Vazia is going to try to crack an acorn, and like her sister, she's only going to be given a couple of turns. Aw, Olive, she's trying her best to crack that. But uh, we're going to definitely work on moving everybody. So I think that's what we're going to plan to do. And we have a couple of pairings. But at the moment, uh, oh, there's a bunny! Kusta! Kusta, Kusta! There's a bunny this way! Actually, let's sniff. There might be one over here as well. There's a bunny right here. Okay, so let's say we move... We move you here. So, you can't get there, but he's found the bunny, so I think he's going to go after it. He found the bunny. I think he has to kill it, though, so we'll have to see. He's going to have to really chase after it. But now we have one, two, three, uh, four, five, let's see, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine Nichlings that'll be going with us. So I think it's time that we had one more baby, and I believe that baby will be born from uh I believe that baby will be born from Nance and uh and her mate Jabarosa. So she's gonna go ahead and breed with him and then sit happily on the nest. And it looks like there are tons of babies right now. And her Jabarosa, he's gonna try to dig in the roots. And he has thought of a challenge for Cheetah, and Cheetah also has to kill a bunny. So he's gonna go and swipe at this bunny and try to hunt it down. And Jolin, I think Jolin's going to try and help with this. Clear away the grass and gather berries, even though he's not too comfortable around a berry bush. And Windflower is gonna go over here. There's another bunny and gather from that. And I think Vidar might go back to his family soon. He's just going to collect from this grass for now, though. And Cherimoya, I think she's going to do the same thing. So she's going to work on clearing out this, and she might try to dig in those roots in the next turn. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and zoom out, see if anybody else needs to move. Well, it looks like Flax is the only one that does, and I think he might start heading this way. But we have a baby to look forward to, so let's see and zoom in. I can't believe we have another rogue. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you. I wonder if he can breed with anybody else. Probably. I think he can breed with every female on the island. So we're going to be bringing a lot of pairings with us. So I think what we might do is just try to have most of our females breed with him. At least two for a higher chance of getting the eye immunity. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to pass the turn and see who this lovely little girl is going to be. What was that? Somebody got leeched? Who? Is that you? Yep, yeah, looks like you got leeched. Um, Jalen, take this off her, please. So, I think she she can, uh, maybe she can try to crack a nut. She'll try to crack a nut, and then Jalen is going to clean her wounds and take that leech off of her. And, let's see, we have a challenge for these guys. Kusta, you are fully grown, my friend. Um, go after that bun bun. Go after that bun bun, okay? You gotta go after the bun bun. So he's gonna jump over here, swipe it, and he's killed it. And I think uh, he's he's blessed, but I'm wondering how Olive might have felt about how long it took him. But now that we have selected our babies for the next island, we are definitely gonna want to prepare with breeding everybody. And little Coneflower is a prodigy herself. So I think she's going to go ahead, breed with this guy. And I think she got pregnant. I think she got pregnant. What's this? A new gene? We unlocked a new gene? I think I've already selected. Oh, no, I haven't. Uh, what new gene was it? Was that the nimble fingers that I unlocked? Maybe? Oh, the cracker jaw. I think we unlocked the cracker jaw. We're still a ways from unlocking anything else, but she has one turn left, and I don't quite know what I want to encourage from her. I mean, we have Nimble Fingers, so I think I'm going to keep it there, and she might just scoot this way. So all of our Nichlings that are going to be going, they're going to start moving the other way, and we're actually, I think, I think Olive might start encouraging more food gathering for now. And Jabarosa, we still need to look at his new little girl. He's going to try to dig for roots, and then I think he'll give in and work on collecting from berry bushes and stuff, like Nance's. But we have Rarara, and she is pretty good. Okay, she is E and C, and let's go ahead and rename her. Um, I don't know what I want to... Oh, Fennel. Okay, that's a cute one. So we have Fennel. Okay. Okay, and she's adorable, and she's the first daughter to have the black eyes like her mother and the spit snout. And that is just so cute. So cute, so cute. And, okay, good, good. We're doing, we're doing really good. But actually, Little Flax has grown up, so he is making his way to the tree. Speaking of which, Jalen is going to try and gather up from this. And I think... I think Vidar might do the same, but he's also a little more worried about gathering food because he believes we're going to be moving soon. 
and Cherimoya is also the same in that respect and I think both of her possible mates are going with her so I might have her come back this way to breed with our lovely little Kukira right here so I think I'm gonna scoot him closer and she's gonna go over here she's not gonna do the breeding he'll breed with her she's pregnant now so she's gonna run back over here to the ports and goodness Cherimoya you are speedy but since we've done that, let's actually look at her genetics really quick. Already planned out. Um, Vidar's, I don't know if Vidar's, yeah, Vidar is not prepared. So we want normal eyes for him because he is blind eyes recessive. Um, and we want to encourage fluffy tail because swimming tail, um, our rats have fluffy tail. That's why, that's why. We have a little genetic, like, guide for what we want our rats to look like. But we have... Breeze, and I think Olive is going to try and collect from this. She's going to shake the tree for Breeze as well, though. And her daughter is going. Vazia is still trying, but she'll probably just be stuck there for one more turn. And Zyrus, she's feeling really proud of her child. Very, very proud. I don't know. I don't know, man. I think she's really, really happy with how things are turning out. But most of our Nietzschelings are preparing to go. We'll probably have them all breed, but for now, most of them are actually going to be focused on collecting food. And, yeah, yeah, it's essentially it. And Jabarosa died, what? Oh no, Nance, you're in mourning. I think since Jabarosa wasn't able to plan a little challenge for her daughter that she's going to have to, and she had never thought of one. So I guess what she's going to do is maybe she, I think she would do a light challenge. I think she'd do a light challenge, and I think she would just tell her daughter to try and get to this little bunny burrow as fast as she can. So, because I, she wouldn't know what kind of challenge to give her daughter. She wouldn't know what kind of challenge she needed to give her daughter. But uh, Cherimoya is going to swipe at this, and then she'll sit happily on the ports. And at the moment, Vidar is a little busy collecting stuff. I think that Windflower might help him out. Um, just by clearing things up, and I think she'll sit here too. Maybe try to crack a nut, and she did! Good job, Windflower! And Jolin, he's still attempting to gather from these, and there was a Razor Rana, oh my goodness! Who was supposed to fish? I think you're still collecting this acorn, so why don't you give it a try, little one? Alright, I think her mother would let her off the hook and congratulate her for trying so hard. Whereas her mother herself is going to try and collect, and I think... Herlifer is going to dig and gather from the berry bushes, and Zyrus is also going to gather from berry bushes, and I think she'll come over here and gather again, and she might try to dig before we go. But uh, why don't you just try this one more time, Olive? Okay, looks like you're not getting it. Your son, Kusta, he took a little bit to get that bunny, but to be fair, part of that was my fault, and because I accidentally skipped the turn, so I think he's fine. But he's going to collect from this, and then he's going to start heading out of here. I don't I don't know how Kusta feels about bunnies. I feel like he'd be a little more against them now. A little bitter, if you if you want to say that. I think he definitely is bitter. He's so bitter, you guys. But, uh, let's see. Kukir, I think he'll go ahead and swipe up this mole for everybody. Show off his skills that way. And Olive definitely appreciates it, and lovely little Nance is just gathering up as much food as she can. And Coneflower. Coneflower, why don't you shake the tree? Did you shake it? There we go. I, I, I thought you didn't shake it. But um, at the moment, they're just going to wait for everybody else to show up. And for some reason, they don't know why they're leaving, but they also know that they should be. So they're all working on that. But we actually have little... uh little Flax here, and Flax has made it to the tree really, really fast. So I wonder... Hmm... I don't know, actually, if Zyrus would label him a prodigy, prodigy for that. Hmm... We'll have to see. But, uh... Yeah, okay. Okay. I think... I think... Okay, we're gonna go one more turn, you guys. Just one more turn, because I can't help it. And then... And then uh, that'll be it for this episode. And I think we're going to start moving everybody out of here. So let's see. Lovely little Fazia is going to sit on the ports. We might actually be able to get everybody out of here in this episode. Already on the next island. 
Oh, that's so exciting! But we have everybody coming over preparedly, and I think at the moment, um, Coneflower is just helping out with this stuff. So actually, let's move our far away Nichlings over. Lovely, lovely little Fennel is just going to scoot her way, and she has made it to the bunny bro, but I think she's going to, I think she's going to pass that challenge up. Hmm. Actually, she'll sit here. And I guess in the next episode, we'll travel to the new island, maybe? I don't know, we're kind of close, but I definitely think that Flax is going to sit here on the ports now. Um, Kusta, Kusta my friend. Kusta is going to go over. I think he'll try to crack the nut just once, and then he'll sit at the front. And I think that Coneflower is actually going to end up leading everybody, because she is our prodigy. And that's not to be taken lightly among this tribe. Your smarts kind of guarantees your position more than anything. And Coneflower, she had unbelievable talent, you know? She's really, really talented. So she is definitely a runner for leader. I think a little more than Kusta. I think Kosta, despite being uh, quote-unquote blessed by Acorn, is perfectly fine kind of sitting in the background and waiting. And Jalen is just going to try to dig up for roots again, and he might try to go after that Razorina. But uh, we have some bunnies, we have more food to collect, and Nance is sitting here mourning her, mourning her mate. And she's going to gather up the grass around her and just, just quietly mourn. Whereas L Kukir is busy collecting up all of this stuff, and he is gorgeous, you know. He is absolutely beautiful. Oh my word, you're so pretty. You're so pretty, Kukir. I wish you weren't sick, you poor thing, but hopefully, hopefully we get that immunity eye from you. But I think Cyrus is just focused on collecting right now for themselves and for everybody else. And Herlifer, I think, is about to pass away. He only has one day left, so he wanted to go spend that time with his lovely mate. Um, Olive, and I think Olive is going to go over and sit by him now. We have these two lovebirds, these two wonderful lovebirds that have led our tribe and already sent us off, essentially, to the next island. So pats to them, pats to them. But we're gonna go ahead past the turn. Goodbye, Herlifer. And we're pretty much ready to move, so we're just gonna quickly gather up all the food that we can and all the materials that we can, so she is doing well. Olive misses her mate, but I think she's happy to send everybody off and she's gonna try to swipe at that. And Lance, I keep calling you Lance, Nance, is, I think she's just kind of staying close, you know, just staying close. And she doesn't want to leave with her, where her mate passed away, really. She just wants to stay near. So Kukir, he's happy staying by this bush. He's happy waiting around. And lovely, lovely little Fennel is actually going to scoot her butt on over here. And we still have a spot left, which feels off. There shouldn't be a spot left. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who am I missing? I thought we had enough creatures. Um, huh. Who am I missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really? Oh. I don't know. Maybe, you know what? Windflower is kind of, I mean, she is a traveler, so maybe she'll go. I guess Windflower impulsively is going to travel with these guys, and Jalen's just staying behind with his sister. I think he's just going to collect up more stuff and probably go to hang out with Nance so that she's not so sad, but alright, you guys. We're gonna go to the next island. Ah, oh, Kusta, why don't you, uh, do the honors? Take us there. Travel. So excited. Can't wait to see it. It's gonna be awesome. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we're already moving islands so quickly. I wonder how big it's going to be. And I wonder what the next island after that is going to be. It's gonna be a lot of fun. That's what I do know. Looks like it's a uh, taking a little bit to load though. So I might pause and see. Oh, here we are. Whoa. Waterfalls and bird chirping. Okay, this island is absolutely enormous. It looks like we might be stuck on this island for a little while, you guys, because the next ports that we would be taking are all the way over here. 
but whoa! Here, let me click off you, Kusta. Whoa! Are you hearing that? Okay, this is cuckoo, but we're here! And there's already tons to do. But alright, you guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed, and I want to thank you all for watching. But I gotta be bopping on here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!